Hey, hey, everyone. It is a pleasure to be here. Good morning. Good morning. Let's get on into these energies. Happy Monday, Memorial Day. It is nice, cool, and crisp in Chicago. I'm loving this weather. A little gloomy, but that is okay. The sun is always shining somewhere. What do we have? Give the gift of hardcover or paperback books. So something about reading, gift giving, gift receiving, hardcover, a biblical text, any sort of religious text that's coming through, um, spiritual knowledge upgrade, something about upgrading your intellectual being. Interesting language coming out of my mouth today. You are hated because you are loved by many. You are loved by many. And so someone is feeling a little bit resentment when it comes to how people per perceive you. Perceptions are changing. There are many fallen angels on this planet. They recognize you and instantly think that you are funny. So this card has been coming out. Something's going on with the fallen angel energy, Nephilim, um, controversial. Someone sees you as a bit controversial. Something deep within could have to do with knowledge. Perhaps you're thinking about writing a book. Maybe you've already written a book and you've self-published or you've gotten some sort of deal with a publisher and you want to give your books out. Something about gift giving, fallen the fallen are rising again. You are hated because you are loved. Haterade. Someone's drinking some haterade. You are loved by demons because you have fey blood. Okay, y'all saw me shuffle, right? They don't matter to you anymore, and so there is no need to forgive. Ooh, harsh. <laughs> We got some harsh energies coming out today. Let me let me get my bearings. Oh my god. <laughs> you are loved by demons. That's that dark shadow energy. You know, the demons they come, they tell you the shit you don't want to hear. But maybe you need to hear it. Maybe there's something you need to hear that you don't want to hear. Maybe someone's told you that they loved you, but you don't want to hear it. <laughs> They don't matter to you anymore. There is no need to forgive. There's something that you're not forgiving. It's okay. You know, you are being asked to live up to your full potential and success will be yours. This energy keeps showing up as well. Living up to your full potential, being honest with yourself, having that hard conversation in the mirror, right? Having that conversation with yourself. Something's not mattering, though. I'm not sure what this is about. Take what resonates. Kick rocks to the rest. Give the gift of hardcover or paperback books. Imprisonment is at the bottom of the deck. Someone feels locked in their mind. There is a blockage. Third eye blockage for someone. Dogs barking in the background. Cool breeze. The grass looks very green. Someone's too busy looking at your green grass. Theirs is turning brown. Mm. Give a gift. Ooh, marriage. In the upright. Number three, main male. Number one, followed by message of concern. Someone's very concerned. Has to do with a marriage, a main male. Gift. Writing your own book. There's a story to be told when it comes to a marriage. Someone wants to marry you. You could be married already to this person. Something's going on with a partnership, a coupling. Let's get some more intel here. You are hated because you are loved by many. This could be a past life marriage. There's an energy shift. Ooh, thoughts. And it kind of did a slippity slide. Somebody's thinking about you. Somebody's thinking about you. Might be good thoughts. Maybe not. Because you are hated. 
because you are loved by so many. Someone is thinking, why are you loved by so many collective? What is it about you? What is it about you that I can't stop watching? Somebody is watching you change. You've changed so much. It's incomprehensible. What is going on with all these changes? Someone is asking. Make it stop. There are many fallen angels. They think you are funny. I think this came out yesterday. I can't remember. Everything's kind of like a blur. <laughs> the age 55, honey, is it's different. <laughs> it's a different life. There are many fallen ain't Ooh, that came out like really fast. Concern. Main male again. There is a main male. Very concerned. It's got to do with your energy. There's something about your light and your dark. There's something that you've conquered and it can be seen. It can be felt. Your energy is being felt by someone. They've got a lot of concern. We've got master number 33. We've got three already out on the table. So that's three, three, three here. Okay, concern about a marriage, maybe. Someone could have married someone that they're like, oh man, I don't know. Something ain't right. Main male message, main female, community, house, official person, family, mature man, distant horizon, sudden wealth, and coffin lovers. All right, there's a little bit of a saga going on here. Not sure if this is your energy or someone attached to you, someone that you left behind. You don't want to hear what they're talking about when it comes to loving you. You're not interested. Or maybe you are. You are loved by demons. There's a demon that loves you. You've got fey blood. Something about the fairies is coming through. Palpable. Something about your energy is palpable. Message again. You could be receiving a message. Courtship in the reverse. Well, well, that's interesting. So there could be someone that's in some sort of, uh, has been in some sort of long-term dating, dating situation. And now someone wants to marry you. There's a decoupling here. Message. Main male. Again, okay, so this. Energy is like very strong, prominent, dominant, journey, child, high honor. Someone sees you now for who you truly are. They didn't before. There's a relationship that's broken. Fey blood, fallen angel. This is giving me like that true blood energy where you got the fairy and the vampire so there is dark and light there is someone that is just very much drawn to you there definitely is uh there's some sort of uh silver cord here i don't know where that's coming from silver cord i don't think i've ever said that before change expectation wealthy bad what unexpected income so we've got another saga so there is a lot going on with your energy what's happening hmm. expectation you've uh your expectations are high you've gone through some trials and tribulations you know exactly what you want when it comes to your relationships and you're not you're not a uh, you're out of there. If if you meet someone new, you go on a first date and they're like, you know, I don't know. They say something really weird and you're just like, you know what? Let me just go to the bathroom real quick and then boop, you're out of there. It's like you're, you're not, you know what you want. You have high expectations and you're not going to deal with people that can't meet you where you are. You're not dealing with climber or someone that's got to climb to meet you where you are. Mm-mm. You pulled the ladder on something. You pulled the ladder on something. Wow. Wow. Okay. Whoa. You know what? I think I'm going to get the alien deck. What's going on with this marriage? So there is some uh, extraterrestrial energy coming through here. Marriage. 
someone's concerned about you, an engagement maybe even. Oh, this is divine feminine energy here, birthing fertility. So see, this is like that lizard eye in the center, Visica Pisces, 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 <laughs> someone's pissy. Hmm. There's something new here going on. Birthing something new. Gift. You're hardcover to crack. You're very intelligent. Someone knows that for sure. You are divine feminine energy. There's divine feminine energy. A marriage. Gift. Hardcover. Let's keep going. The bottom we've got Lyrans. Number 11. Strength, courage, bravery. Uh, you're very brave when it comes to your belief system. You are uh, very much entwined with the unknown. Something is unknown. Reading the book. Let's keep going. Thoughts. Divine feminine energy. Very dominant here. So someone's thinking a lot about a divine feminine. Grace. Short timid, misunderstood, shy. So there is someone that is very shy thinking a lot about you. You might not be aware of who this is. Hmm. Someone doesn't know how to speak their mind. Someone's very nervous about approaching you. You might come off as way too strong for whoever this could be. Someone thought you were timid. They misjudged you. Seeing a ladder and a window, like you, you pulled the ladder into your window and closed the window. The window is closed. The window is closed. Concern. Oh, third eye, sideways. Visions, manifesting, meditation, concern. There are many fallen angels on this planet. So there's concern about what you're manifesting, what you're attracting. You attract the light and the dark. You're well-versed when it comes to your shadow side. And that makes you somewhat scary, intimidating to someone else because there's no leverage. Someone knows they don't have any leverage when it comes to dealing with you. This could be job, career, personal, however it might resonate because of this third eye. Someone has tried repeatedly to change your mind about something, how you look at life. Someone is very grim, very dim, stuck. Someone's stuck here. Mantis being, enigma, elusive, sensitive. You're highly sensitive right now. You perhaps have always been sensitive since you are very small. You came into this world with your third eye wide open. Something is developing new within you. Hmm. Let's get a card for courtship in the reverse. So there's someone that is uh, more dark than light that's very smitten with you. You could have uh, many protectors surrounding you right now and you could be feeling that energy. Oh, here we, here we go. The daggone nagas, nagas, however you say this. Lovers, erotica, sensuality. It's in the upright, clarifying courtship in the reverse. You are loved. You are loved. You are hated. <laughs> so this is definitely a love-hate relationship with whomever this might be. They wake up in the morning and they hate your ass. And then by noon, they're like, oh my God. If I don't get my arms wrapped around this energy, I don't know what I'm going to do. Ooh, this feels very twin flamey. Doesn't have to be Ouroboros, 
power boros anyway infinity eternal past life this is a past life connection shadow self behind that i'm telling you this is a forever dance with the shadow lyrans again strength courage bravery you're pulling someone in fire they're incredibly passionate about you this person is exhausting someone else could even be a third party because they're miserable with whoever they're with. They're watching you. This person could be married. There's some, there's, there's marriage here. Let's keep going. I don't even, uh, part of me does not even want to continue with this reading because it's really somewhat out there. It's really out there. Eternal life. Immortal, immortal mortality someone's got a lot of questions when it comes to you that's for sure you have a lot of questions perhaps where do i go next what turn to take something about what turn to take why is ugh, marriage here whoa queen of swords clarifying marriage and we've got Divine Feminine out here, Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, followed by Seven of Pentacles. Now, this is entering, interesting, entering. There's someone new entering your life. There's something new entering your life. I don't know what this is. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you right now. You could be in your Queen of Swords energy. The Queen of Swords is clarifying a marriage. We've got Divine Feminine on the table. Laser focus, laser vision, third eye open, cracking, something cracking. Why is... Let's just get a card for thoughts. The Emperor is clarifying thoughts. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Queen of Swords, Emperor, marriage, courtship in reverse. Is there a marriage here or not? You are hated, you are loved. Masculine energy, feminine energy, divine feminine. Emperor in the upright, gray. There is a masculine energy thinking a lot about Hating you because you're loved. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords, The Fool. Someone wants to take hangman. Someone wants to take a risk. Someone wants to come toward you. You've taken a risk. You've reinvented yourself. You've rebirthed yourself with this fertility here. You're in a, you're operating from the left and right hemispheres. Like you could even be ambidextrous. You can shoot from both hands. Someone didn't know that about you. You can flip the script very quickly. You're the author. You, you're a writer. You wrote this story many times throughout many different lives. You know the outcome. Huh. All right, let's keep going. Concern, con, concern, CERN, something about CERN, something about con. Six of coin. All right, we got Queen of Pentacles again, Seven of Pentacles again, Six of Swords. So you moved away from something, Ten of Cups. You got your Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords. You're speaking your truth, the fool. You are nobody's fool, hangman. Stuck, eight a coin, four a coin. Someone's got some money problems. Empress is followed by the falling tower and nine of swords. So yesterday's reading, I did start off saying severity of storm. So there have been some uh, very severe storms, losses. Someone's taking some financial losses. It's got to do with the tower, many towers. This emperor is thinking a lot. 
there in the background though someone's in the background six of coins someone is concerned about what is being gifted to you what you're gifting yourself what you're manifesting for yourself you're very in tune with your shadow your shadow protects you you're in control you're in control you know what you're capable of Whew. Okay, let's keep going. Courtship in the reverse. Lovers. Oh, on the floor. And it did like a whole ass flip, flippity do. Oh, nine of cups. I can't tell if it was in the reverse or what. Okay. Sideways. Nine of cups. Clarifying courtship in the reverse. Someone doesn't want to love you as much as they do. Queen of Pentacles, again, they see you as this Queen of Pentacles. Your investments are paying off. Someone sees you as a Queen of Swords. Someone could be married to a Queen of Swords. You could be this Queen of Swords, married, wanting to get out. It was a mistake or not, because we do have a gift. Hold on, let's get another card for Queen of Swords. Okay. Page of Wands and Page of Pentacles. So that's interesting. So this is clarifying Queen of Swords is not typically a young person per se, open minded, good news, news. Good news. There's good news coming to a Queen of Swords. What's at the bottom? Two of Swords. So with this, these two pages here, this could be, uh, you could have two children. You could be this Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords can sometimes be a widow. You could have two children. Young. Books. Increase income. So there's some opportunities coming to you. Books is in this card description and then we've got hardcover book here so something's going on with the book feels very energetic hmm two of swords knight of coin page of coin eight of cups ten of wands i'm gonna have to get some more intel here this is quite interesting i don't really it's a lot going on here but there's something new, that's for sure. There could be two feminine energies here. Let's keep going. Emperor, you're receiving good news. Wheel of Fortune is clarifying Emperor. So that's two major, major arcanas. And that's clarifying thoughts. So whatever these thoughts are, they're, they're big. Could be dreams. <clears throat> Karma, life path, the wheel has spun, two of swords again. There's a decision that has to be made. We do have this lover's erotica here, and we've got marriage here. Hmm. Why is six of coin here? The falling tower. Well, that clarifies this concern. So there's concern about a tower. Someone has fallen. This is angels on this planet. So this is planetary energy, global energy, recognition, instant gratification, funny. Something about being funny. Someone wants to laugh again. They miss your laughter. They miss your wit. Falling tower. You've moved on. Someone can't accept that you've moved on. Someone is fearful of you. Having a new relationship. Someone could be married and they have another relationship. Nine of cups sideways. Now we've got this nine of pentacles sideways. Clarifying nine of cups. So that's nine, nine, two of coins. This is definitely about making a decision a choice we saw the two of swords the two of coin 
someone's in and out of their head. That's this person that has all this hate and this love for you. They're very confused. They're so confused that they just can't come forward. This feels new and old. Past life. You could have a past life with two, two souls, both hovering, both childlike, both wanting to give you good news. Something about good news and books. Hmm. Why is the uh, Queen of Swords here? All right, this is landing on Emperor and it's good news in the reverse. Okay. Alliance. This is about someone wanting to partner with you. Good news in the reverse, clarifying Emperor with the Wheel of Fortune and thoughts. You are hated. So if you're receiving a lot of attention right now, if you're in the public, this person is very much up in their feelings because of the attention that you're receiving. Right. Could have to do with marriage, mystery, accolades. You could be some sort of specialist in whatever field it is that you do. You could be uh, doing a lot of different presentations. If you've written a book, you're making your rounds, you're doing your interviews. Something about an interview. Someone could want to interview you. Someone wants to pick your mind. Someone sees you as brilliant, intimidating. Someone's intimidated by you. They thought that you were meek. Someone had a lot of misconceptions when it comes to your energy. You've ignited something. Someone's been ignited. We did see the fire card, the flame. It's burning. Harsh. Harsh. Queen of Swords. Friendship, clarifying Queen of Swords, introvert. You could be very introverted. You could uh, have a friend. This could be a new friend group. This could be a past friend group, someone that you gave a lot to. Or, yeah, you gave a lot to uh, someone. This could be someone who's married, you're friends with. Hmm. Illness. Someone could be ill. Someone thought they were more sick than what they actually are. They perceive news that things are going to be better. Friendship. Good news in the reverse, though. Good news here in the upright pages. Two pages. This could be young sons, males. Something about two sons, two brothers. Friendship, Queen of Swords, Marriage, Divine Feminine, Gift. This is beautiful. Whatever this is, it's beautiful. And it's got this Emperor energy in a bit of a funk. That's for sure. Good news in the reverse. Wheel of Fortune, Adventure. Let's get a card for Concern. Concern. Con, there's a con, there's a trick. Con, CERN, CERN, third eye, there's an event. Sweet dreams, sweet dreams, savings, readiness. There's a leap, there's a leap that someone wants to take. You're sleeping well, six of coins. You're a giver. You're being gifted by the divine. The divine has you fallen. Fallen angel, falling tower, falling curse. Ooh. Ooh. Someone is cursed. You've broken generational curse curses on both sides of your family. This definitely could feel like two sides of the family. Uh, you're a generational curse breaker. For From maternal and paternal, you've broken both sides. Curses. Vow. 
That was your mission. That's why you came here. That's what you came to do. You've accomplished something when it comes to your mission on this planet through this third eye power. Sweet dream. So you're very active in the dream st state, but you still sleep. Well, sweep is what almost came out of my mouth. Something's being swept, cleaned up. Hmm. Well. Courtship in the reverse. Uh-oh. Eternal love. Didn't I tell y'all? Overloaded. Oh, my gosh. Here we are. Eternal here. Shadow. So whoever, oh, whoever you're connected to, um, the silver cord, and I don't even know what the hell silver, silver cord means. I probably do if I thought about it long enough, but there's a silver cord here. You're connected to a past life lover energy. Fallen angel energy, shadow, fallen, fallen tower. They're overloaded. They're, I don't know what this is. This is bunkers. Luck, libation, sweetheart, hesitation, nightmare, loneliness. Whoever this is, they're very lonely, strategic, justice. They could work in the justice system. Reservation, stop, protest, third will, triumph. Let's get a card for marriage. Okay, this is landing with this concern and Gray's fate. Face down, we already have Wheel of Fortune upright. Good news in the reverse. Someone's very concerned. Merit making. They know, someone knows, this emperor really knows that they didn't do the work necessary for their spiritual evolution and that you are a, a pivotal point something about a pivotal point in this energy in this life of this person who is in their shadow like fully huh merit making marinette illness robbery someone's very sick they feel like they've been stolen from they're not in control someone feels like they're not in control that they're being controlled by an uh an entity entity that is darkness but they're not understanding it's their own darkness someone wants to be reborn someone's going through a very uh heavy rebirthing fading away oh yeah yeah stress yeah a lot of stress here okay Whew. all right let's try this again with this marriage Whoa. okay if these cards come out in the reverse i'm going to read them in the upright marriage You are meant to be together. <sighs> my breathing just got really like, oh my God, it landed sideways on top of this divine feminine. So I'm definitely speaking to a divine feminine. There is someone or more than one that feels they are meant to be with you. This is this energy here. They're all the way in their shadow. And they're very stressed out. Whew. Okay, Queen of Swords. Dehydration is at the bottom. Someone needs to drink water. Someone's got dry mouth. Queen of Swords. Trophy wife. Sideways. Somebody's married. Or they see you as this trophy wife. No, man. I told you it's another. There is someone that is married, very focused on you. This could be a former friend. 
trophy, gift, reward. You are meant to be together. Huh. Let's get a card for friendship. This could be a, a current friend. Oh, look at that. Your betrayal will not be forgiven. The morning star friendship. Mergers and acquisitions. And, oh, Lord, deliver, deliver me. Oh, my God, strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. So, whoever this is that feels they, they, you're meant to be together, there, there's a betrayal here that's not being forgiven. We go all the way back to square one in the reading where it says they don't matter to you anymore. And so, there is no need to forgive. You've moved on from whatever this is. You could be guided by the morning star. Something about Venus. Betrayal. This betrayal is not being forgiven. It's like a higher up energy. Like the, the gates. The gates of heaven. The gates of hell. Everything's been closed. For whatever this could be. And so this is where all this stress is coming from here. And someone's stressed out about a profession. They could be stressed out about what it is that you do. They want to apologize. This person is a bully or they want to bully themselves into your life because they need help. They need help. Someone needs help. They don't know how to ask for help. Someone doesn't know how to ask for help. They're embarrassed. Why is the emperor here? This is landing on <clears throat> falling tower, lift weights. So someone's trying to regain their strength after a major collapse, something about a collapse, a collapse. There's a collapse, concern, something about a con, big betrayal, won't be forgiven. Someone can't carry their own weight. They never could carry their own weight. They were just a pretender. Let's get another card. Emperor. Someone needs to work out. They could be losing muscle mass. Sandcastle. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, man. Sandcastle. There's some fakery going on here. Someone was a pretender. They didn't do the work. They're getting really bad news with good news in reverse. <sighs> the facade is crumbling. The falling tower. The facade has crumbled for an emperor. It is. They can't stop it. They can't stop fate. Someone tried to stop your fate. They hate you. They love you. They're a mess. Wheel of Fortune. Kitchen Beautician. It just landed on the floor. So someone's been cooking up a whole bunch of beauty spells against you in the kitchen. Something about the kitchen. Huh. Someone spends a lot of time in their kitchen. Someone could have gotten their kitchen remodeled. The contractors took the money, left the kitchen all messed up. Someone's a fake, a phony. Kitchen beautician, wheel of fortune. That's a very odd combination. I need another card. Whoa. Vascular surgeon, zombie street bioweapon. I can't stop myself from watching you. We did see the illness card. Someone could be a vascular surgeon. Someone is uh, working with a vascular surgeon. Someone could be bedridden and so they have to have doctor visits at home. Something about home care. Vascular surgeon, zombie street drugs. So someone was dealing with some substances that have caused some problems with their blood flow. Someone is under influence. We did see the marionette card. They don't have their own mind. They're operating from some sort of false matrix. Hmm. Zombie. 
So there could be an event coming up, people bent over in the streets, not able to walk upright. Someone's cooking things in their kitchen that they shouldn't. Someone needs vascular surgeon because they got some bad surgery in a kitchen. I don't know what the hell this is. It's a mess, whatever it is. Vascular surgeon. I need another card for vascular surgeon. Schedule landed on six of coin, imagination, fury. So someone's got someone, this is very specific, but someone had a surgery scheduled and it got a delay because of stuff that's found. Yeah stuff that's found in their system that would make the surgery quite risky for an emperor. Very specific. Don't take it if it doesn't resonate. This person can't stop watching you. Okay. Oh, where am I at? Six of coin. Clones. He was a serial killer in a past life. He wants to kill you, but is fighting the urge. This landed over here with I can't stop watching you. This is beneath you are hated because you are loved by so many. So make no mistake about it. This, this masculine energy here who is in a bad way is uh, dealing. They're in the shadow. Like I, I knew it. They're in the shadow. This is a shadow being. This is a shadow being, clones. How in the world did we get here? <laughs> so there's something in this person's blood that they can't have whatever surgery this is. Damn. So whatever this person, this energy did in a past life, it was awful and they were supposed to get, come back and do it right. And whatever they did, it was so bad, so horrific that they aren't being forgiven by the morning star. They tried to rob you of your fate. I'm about to get up out of here, man. <laughs> For real. <laughs> what in the world? Nine of cups sideways? Oh, no. I'm about to, yeah. This just got creep, creepified. Cryptic. Cryptic. Bulldog. It's in the reverse. Squatter. In the upright. I said I wasn't going to read the reverse, so... But whoever this is, this eternal love, shadow being, energy, who could be very dehydrated, man, oh man, they have it out for you. Whoa. <laughs> I was not expecting this sort of energy to come out. Bulldog in the reverse. They got no fight left. With this lift weights clarifying the fallen, falling tower, the fallen, they've fallen. These shadow beings have taken a nosedive, man. Crusty asses, golly. Holy hell. Emperor. What, what stone does the emperor need? Where, let's get this in the upright. What, zombie. <laughs> Ooh. Biological weaponry. Cloning. Yeah, we got it all here. So there's a major event coming up. It's, it's going to be major. But, yeah. Nothing, not much can happen at this point to surprise most folks. That's for sure. These shadow energies, they've done way too much. Folks aren't impressed. Emperor. All right, we've got smoky quartz. I did mention in the reading yesterday, smelling smoke. 
um, almost clear to nearly black, nearly black being this shadow energy here. Okay, pairs, the clarity inducing vibes, clarity inducing vibes. That's this third eye here. That's your energy. Protective, do not cross over this line, vibes of black ones. Y'all, what kind of hell clarity is this right here? You see that? Can you, you might even want to take a screenshot. What in the world? Inducing clarity, inducing vibes of clear stones with the protective, the protective, right? You're protected because you are loved by demons. So whatever this shadow being attachment is, you're protected by these these demons here over this line they cannot cross your line vibes of black ones that's crazy glass half empty types right space cadets space cadets clones zombies right holy moly chain around your neck someone wants to put a chain around your neck something's hidden something's hidden pockets whenever you're certain to find difficult people in your path family dinner tables conference rooms subway cars so yeah oh here we are i told you guys look at this when you fall prey to the emotional vampires yeah you are definitely, this is not for everybody. Don't take this shit if it doesn't resonate. But there is someone here, a divine feminine, divine masculine, that has a shadow being infatuated. This just goes beyond, like, beyond, yeah, it's beyond. And it's been, like, a thing for a long time. When you're just too spacey and can't even embarking on a spiritual journey or a journey to pick up your dry cleaning extra points. If you're thinking, what's the difference? Arm your spiritual warrior. So you are the spiritual warrior. You're armed to the tilt, man. You're armed and protected to the tilt. No one can touch you. But this is some interesting dynamics playing out. We're going to see it in the news feed. There's a lot of dark shadow entities. This could feel like an entity attachment. This person could have tried to take you out in another lifetime, another dimension. He wants to kill you, but is fighting the urge. The urge. There's anger, hatred. They can't stop themselves from watching you. Final messages for the collective, please and thank you. Gentleness. Archangel Sandifon, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. It's very contrasting energy when you have this card here talking about the emotional vampires. <clears throat> So you could be feeling a little spacey today or yesterday or just in general. And it's because you there is a darker energy here that's really out of the box. Out of the box, man. One more. Please and thank you, spirit. Okay. Beloved one. Prioritize. Archangel Chamuel, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship so whatever this is it is definitely being watched monitored because it's uh there's there's an interesting spatial component and i can't describe it at all but you could feel the need to just kind of cocoon yourself right now but it's best to continue focusing on what it is that you're doing, prioritizing your objectives, your goals. You know what to do, Archangel Uriel. You know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. All is well. So, yeah, these are very encouraging energies surrounding you, Archangel Jeremiah. 
Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to with hidden blessings. You will soon understand. So, you know, whatever is vague or lacks understanding here, it will it will become clear to you. You know what to do. You know what to do. Okay, so that's what I have. Thank you guys so much for your continued support with this channel. It's just amazing to be here daily. I appreciate all of you very much.